Yeah, that's right, Ben. Today we learned that 90 people who tested positive for COVID-19 between June 15th and July 17th actually did not have the virus at all. The state health lab in Rocky Hill used a Thermo Fisher COVID-19 test on approximately 2,200 people. And out of that, 144 tests came back positive. And out of those, 90 of those were determined to be false positives. The Department of Public Health has informed the manufacturer and the FDA about this problem. We also learned today that many of the people who falsely tested positive, well, they are nursing home residents. The state says that they will be retested as soon as possible. The interim public health commissioner saying that this news shouldn't cause people to lose trust in the overall accuracy of testing. This is uh, going to apply to a minority of tests in the state. We, we are working to find out, you know, exactly um, what percentage uh, would be uh, potentially implicated by these uh, by this system. However, um, particularly if an individual has symptoms, but anybody who's received a positive test, they should absolutely 100% assume that that positive result is correct. Now, right now, the state is working to see if uh, any of those people who falsely tested positive may have been mistakenly exposed to the virus by being cohorted with others who did indeed have it. And if any of those people are positive now or have since passed away, it is not exactly clear what caused the flaw in this particular testing system. We know that earlier this month, the FDA uh, did alert that labs were experiencing some problems in a different testing kit that was manufactured by a company called BD Max Systems. That particular kit resulted in a 3% uh, false positive rate. The state of Connecticut telling me today that that particular kit is not something that they have used. For now, we're reporting live in Hartford in front of the State Department of Public Health. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. Matt, thank you. Governor Ned Lamont